I've got another island style chicken recipe for you guys today. It is fried garlic and ginger chicken. Takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna show you how to do it in today's video. All right, so I have here equal parts uh, ginger and garlic. This was about one small bulb and I'm obviously doing equal parts. It's already peeled. By the way, um, the easiest way to get ginger peeled is with the back of a spoon so you don't cut yourself trying to peel it with the potato peeler. And I left a little bit on it, doesn't matter. This is organic kind, so I gave it a good rinse and I'm ready to toss this into the blender with uh, one part soy sauce and three parts water. And I almost forgot, I'm gonna toss in about the same amount of equal to my garlic and ginger. So if I put that in a measuring cup, it would probably be about three quarters of a cup, something like that. So yeah, it's about three quarters of a cup. I meant to say one third. So I used a quarter cup, but I was eyeballing. I added one, a quarter cup plus a little bit more to kind of equal a third. If that, hopefully that makes sense. And I'm gonna put some of this toasted sesame oil in there as well. Just like a little, like maybe a half a teaspoon, teaspoon. And once it's blended, I'm just gonna put this on the stove and let this simmer while I cut up my chicken and get it ready. So this is just the sauce that we're gonna dip our fried chicken into after it's done. So I'm gonna cook it up for a bit. And while it's cooking, gotta give it the old taste test. Mmm, tastes really good. That ginger is spicy. Dang. And over here I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Alright, I've got this all cut, cut up. So I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of kosher salt. I ran out of my pink Himalayan. Um, some black pepper and a, just a little bit of granulated garlic. And then I'll just massage that in. You want to work this in really good. So I'm putting about uh, three quarter cups of flour and then I'm going to put in a quarter cup of cornstarch and the cornstarch, if you don't have cornstarch you can just use the flour but the cornstarch gives it like another little, I guess like a crispiness. So I'm going to put about a quarter cup in there and I'll let that sit, I'll work it in together and while my oil while my oil comes up to temp because we're gonna fry this. Yes, you please stop. <laughs> yes, you're being a little bit irritating. Alright, so I'll leave this like this now that they're all pretty much evenly coated. That's a lot easier than setting up a whole other station for dredging. I think my oil is up to temp. Let's check it. Not quite. These are just about right, so color doesn't really pick up well here, but they are getting golden brown. I can take them out and maybe that's a better picture. Oh, not really. Is it going to focus? Look at the color. Anyways, you can kind of see that there's a crunch on there, I guess. But now what I'm going to do is put it into our sauce that's in the back here and from here focus just dip them real quick and transfer it to here whoa almost missed This is definitely a labor of love meal. 
I always have to mop the floor after this. But it tastes good. So it's worth it. Be sure to taste your sauce too before you put your chicken in. I already tasted it. Make sure that it's sweet enough, salty enough. This one is a little spicy with ginger, but it tastes really good. So I'll keep going. Frying these up. All right, then after you fry it and dip it in the sauce, you're ready to plate and that's it. I'm serving this with mac salad, of course, steamed white rice and fresh salad. Super delish. It does take almost every single pan in the house to make this meal, but like I said, it is worth it. It's one of my favorites to eat, not to make. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.